the family of fundamental particles described by particle physics is far more diverse than the protons, neutrons and electrons with which we are familiar. Among its more exotic members are muons, which behave similarly to electrons but are around 200 times heavier. Many important discoveries can be made by smashing fundamental particles into each other, and muons are no exception. Since they are so heavy, it should be possible to accelerate the particles to extremely high energies. This is the goal of researchers from all over the world, working on the proton accelerator at the Rutherford Appleton Laboratory in Oxfordshire. Realistically, however, building these muon accelerators is no easy task. To understand the challenges faced by the team, we can imagine a group of sightseers crossing a pedestrian bridge, with both sides offering sweeping views of a city skyline. To take in each view, each tourist will continually cross from one side of the bridge to the other. While the group as a whole are moving in the same direction, individuals can wander in their own random ways. Much like these meandering sightseers, individual muons travelling within a beam can move in random and widely varying ways. This presents a problem. Unlike protons, for example, which can easily form regimented lines, the muon creation process yields clouds of randomly moving particles, usually as wide as tens of centimetres across. What's more, muons are far less stable than particles like protons and will usually decay within just millionths of a second. In order to properly study such elusive particles, researchers need to squeeze these quickly decaying clouds into narrow, intense beams ready to be fed into a particle accelerator. Enter the Muon Ionization Cooling Experiment, or MICE, a highly interdisciplinary project based at Rutherford Appleton Laboratory to create these concentrated beams. First, bunches of protons are accelerated into dense metal targets, creating streams of exotic particles named pions, which quickly decay into muons. The muons spread out rapidly, moving forward and side to side, like the pedestrians on the bridge. They are then captured by magnets and directed into a container of liquid hydrogen in a process known as cooling. As they collide with the hydrogen atoms, the muons strip away their outer electrons, losing energy in the process. In turn, the motions of the muons are slowed down in every direction, dampening their side to side motions and reducing their speed. Finally, the particles pass through an electromagnetic chamber called a radio frequency cavity which returns their lost energy, but with one difference, it only accelerates them in the direction of the beam. These last steps are repeated, squeezing the muon clouds to smaller and smaller diameters, until eventually the beam is narrow and intense like a laser and ready to be injected into a particle accelerator. After this treatment, the muon cloud looks less like a group of sightseers crossing a bridge and more closely resembles an orderly marching band. The work of mice could help produce functional muon beams, a development that could enhance the field of particle physics and help us explore some of the universe's prevailing mysteries.